Sheffield Wednesday look to bring in the 32-year-old striker. Now, uh, we got us in the community tab too. Yep. To talk about it, we'd already got in the document. So I'll let you... Um, you brought this one to my so, attention. So Sheffield Wednesday look to sign Lee Gregory from Stoke City. Source exclusive real to the football world. Good target man. Strong up front. He best fell personally, I think, was when he was at Millwall. He is a Sheffield lad. He is born and bred in Sheffield. I believe he supports the other side and his brother supports Wednesday. I'm not too sure what it is. I keep thinking it feels like a Harry Maguire situation. Says he supports one, says he supports the other. I'm not bothered. If he puts on the shirt and he does well, good. 32, yes, you look at the A, but when you're looking at that league, someone as that kind of target man, bully somebody off the ball, you might need it. You know what I mean? To kind of get those kind of goals. Hasn't had a great record since he's been at Stoke, I've got to admit. Uh, like, they best record when he was at uh, Millwall. But that, it's the kind of player we're looking at now. We're either going to get young players, or you're going to get really old players or coming to the twilight. When I don't think you see him getting the middle-of-the-road players now, if you know what I mean. I'm looking at his career, and he is a, he is, <laughs> he's got League One written all over him, even though he's a... He's a Millwall hard lad by the looks of it. He's like mm. one of those those strikers. What you you will be linked with in this. So yeah, he was really he, he came up through the United Academy. Was released in two thousand and three. Yeah. Um, I think we were I think we were linked with him before he went to Stoke as well. Yeah, he went through. He's, he's played for Harrogate and Halifax as well. <laughs> played for Halifax for three years. Um, then Millwall for five, and then Stoke went on loan to Derby. Scored three and eleven, which is not bad actually, because that no. was this year. It's got to be a free transfer, right? Stoke have released it. Yeah, because there's no way we're into yeah. Um, free transfer, so decent. He suffered a season-ending injury at the start of April, so he's coming back from injury. So he's perfect fit for Wednesday, actually. Because, <laughs> but three got three goals in eleven in the championship for Derby. Obviously, they were a side that was struggling. I think, I think this would be a good. Good link, actually. Yeah. I think this would be a good signing because we have we haven't got strikers that can hit a barn door at the minute. Well, Windass, we have got only... Windass, the bar they only one. We've got it... one recognised striker. Because I still agree with people. Patterson's one of the players where you don't know where his best position is. We tried him at striker; he did well, but either here, there, plays anywhere. If say, I didn't say Westwood then. Jesus, say our goalkeeper, whoever we pick. Get injured, lobbing the gloves, he might go in net. Yeah. Actually, no, if I'm our goalkeeper got injured or we ran out of subs or he got sent off, Hutch would probably don the gloves again. I think he'd be, um, yeah. <laughs> I think he'd be a great signing, actually. Mm. For the league we're going into, it would be decent. I've not watched him recently, though. That's the thing. And I, I like to usually have a little bit more information. Obviously, you brought this one to us. Um, have his legs gone? Not as such. They haven't gone properly, but they're on the verge. Put it that right, because the thing is, um, looking at his statistics and things, you wouldn't think his legs had gone, and you'd say he's probably got another year, but they, we, it could come to Wednesday and his legs could go. But For I guess me, it's, worth it's more the, the hold-up play that he'll be able to offer. Right, okay. Because that's what we don't have. We've missed like that general hold-up play just to get people in to position since we all know who left. Should so I I'm do my... Gonna... Uh... Should I do my general FIFA stats that see, some people yeah, seem to go still on. enjoy this segment? So, but better than the players we've been linked with recently, right? 68 oh, nice. striker, silver, silver common, 67 pace, 66 dribbling, 66 shooting, 28 defending, 54 passing, and 76 physical. So for League One, it'd be a great card, actually, if we're, mm. I do the, the full-on League One to the Champions League career, which I think I probably will do because that excites me quite a bit actually. Uh, but I think I think he'd be a great signing actually. Looking yeah. at looking at look at just looking into what I've seen there, I'd like to I'd like to look at some footage of him a little bit more recently. I'd, his injury history makes it more of a realistic target for Sheffield Wednesday. I'd say the, the, the getting back from injury it strikes me a little bit like the Shea Dunkley kind of deal. Mm-hmm. But once you get in, you'll get your football kind of thing. But we need to get you fit. Yeah. Um, 
Let's see, let's see what happens with him, but he's might also... Develop, might not. We are going to be in competition for him, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you.